Without a doubt, some of the jobs on the Corvette are a real pain in the you-know-what to do. Changing the front turn signals is one of them. There's two methods. One is to access uh, through by the headlights, taking off the headlight and the cover and reaching down into this area uh, behind the uh, turn signal to get at the bulb. The other is removing this access panel on the bottom. There's two screws on the back, three screws on the bottom. You can see I got a little quarter inch drive ratchet. Works really well to get this access panel off. The nice thing about these access panels is it seals up basically the body of the car. I suppose it helps somewhat for airflow underneath the car uh, and also keeps the dirt and so on out from areas under the hood. So, there is where it is, underneath or above that brake duct. So the Z06 has that brake duct and the turn signal, uh, there's two bulbs in there, but what I need is un above that brake duct. So you gotta sneak your hand up there, press the little tab, turn the turn signal and pull it out. In this case, I had a broken bulb that would not come out. So I had to get a pair of needle nose pliers and uh, took a few attempts to get it out. It was really stuck in there. Finally, a straight pull without hitting the camera. Got that old broken bulb out. How it got broken within the turn signal, I don't know, but there you go. Uh, Push the new one in. Bit of a tight fit. It took some persuasion without breaking the bulb to get it back in. And then getting it back in place. And then once again, because I can't see, you know, there's three tabs that are on the turn signal that go into um, the body of the turn signal and they're keyed, so they're specific sizes, so you can't just get it in in any uh, 120 degree rotation. It's gotta be a specific orientation. So I had to make sure I was getting it in the right position. I had a finger, you know, feel to find out where the uh, biggest notch was, look at where the biggest notch was on the turn signal itself. Still can't get it, finally get it, blindly get it up into position and get it turned and click. And there, that takes care of that. And then the last piece is just putting that um, cover piece back in place. At first I laid it, laid it up there uh, sitting on the inside. That was wrong on the bottom. and uh, the front, it should be underneath, which I figured out in pretty short order. <laughs> After I got that second, it was like, whoops, wrong one, okay. Take it out reposition it, hold it in place, put a screw in there to hold it in place in the back, and it's just five screws, so each one isn't too bad, but instead of just being able to reach your hand into the turn signal, unscrew the bulb or you know, rotate the bulb, pull it out, replace the bulb, put it back in. Um, having a hoist helps a lot. If you don't have a hoist, uh, you need a good jack to get it up high enough so you can crawl underneath on your back and get at it. If you want to get into a headlight, I think that's going to take a little longer because you basically got to take the headlight surround off, take the headlight out, take the headlight cover off, and get it in place. This one's a little easier, especially if you have a hoist. Tighten up the five screws, and that job is done. And then you need the short attachment, or no attachment in this case, in front of the tire to get that fifth screw tightened up. Oh, we're just going to make sure they're all tight. Because you always want to basically get all your uh, screws in and nuts in first before you tighten anything. So I got them up to close and then tighten them up last. And we're done.